They're the cartoons that for 37 years comically chronicled life in our county. Everything from Delia Smith trying to sign players while hanging from a helicopter to the drivers that take sneaky routes through the countryside. Published three times a week in the Eastern Daily Press for much of that time, every single one came from the mind and hand of Tony Hall. They came to an end last September, but the 74-year-old still proud to have shared his take on the news with readers. The main thing was it just injected a little bit of um, much-needed humour into life, you know, because uh, as, as, as time goes by, to my mind, you know, it seems uh, humour is less evident than it was. Most news, by and large, is bad news. Good news is a, a little bit of a minority, and uh, I just think it's necessary. It's, necessary. it's, it's a foil to all the, all the doom and gloom we have. Before his time at the EDP, Tony worked for big names like Punch and the Reader's Digest and publishers like the Cambridge University Press. It was Tony himself who approached the paper to run cartoons in the comments sections, which over the years gathered their own fan base and won national awards, including one presented by the Princess Royal. And while he isn't drawing for the EDP any longer, the granddad of four hasn't stopped using his easel. Just last year he took up painting to challenge himself to use colour, and now his first pieces and a few classic cartoons are on sale at Broadland Framers and Gallery in Aylsham. They've just got a little quirk, so that might raise half a smile, you know, and hopefully flog one or two, you know. I think I'd just gone, on, uh, gone to have something framed originally and just got chatting about these, and uh, it was Claire who um, s s s talked about having an exhibition, because I'd, I'd never had an exhibition before, and I'd never done what I call real art. So I'm an artist now. I asked him, did he fancy doing an exhibition? And he said, really, me? I don't know if I can do that. And I said, I'm sure you can. So he started coming in one at a time and it's taken us about a year to get this many coloured pictures together. I just want him to keep on painting and I want him to enjoy painting and not be constrained by deadlines. If he wants to paint, paint. Freed from those old print deadlines, Tony isn't going to stop painting any time soon with the works produced in both of the studios he has at his cottage, where he also created his cartoons. Normally his pieces for the EDP took 10 hours to get from an idea to the finished item, but today it took just a few minutes for our Tony to draw up a little bit of fiery fun. Mark Summers, Mustard TV, Aylsham.